Hello! Today I would like to spread the good word and preach a little, if I may, about one of Canada's greatest bookstores, Glass Bookshop. Located in Edmonton, Alberta, Glass Bookshop focuses on Canadian writing with special attention paid to LGBTQ2SIA and Indigenous Black and POC authors, as well as the independent publishers who help produce their work. They also have highlights on their Instagram and categories on their website for books by Black authors, books about anti-racism, and books by Indigenous authors for Indigenous Heritage Month. They're also redistributing the profits they've made from Black authored books to organizations that support Black life in three different ways, including Shades of Color, the Festival of Literary Diversity, and the Bail Project. And you can find links to other organizations to support down below. The store was co-founded by Jason Purcell and Matthew Stepanek. Now, you may remember Jason from his booktube days, which is where I met this Taurus queen, and I was also so glad that I got the chance to finally meet Matthew, and one day I'll be at the level of hanging out with their silent partner, Bob the Corgi. Both are authors and poets in their own right and have worked in the Edmonton literary community for a long time. Jason has co-edited an anthology of Canadian authors called 10 Canadian Writers in Context, and last year he came out with his first chapbook called A Place More Hospitable. Matthew has written a collaborative novel called Project Compass and has a chapbook called Relying on That Body, which features poems inspired by the queens of RuPaul's Drag Race season 10, so iconic. I was able to spend a lot of time in their incredibly beautiful and well-designed pop-up shop while I was living in Edmonton. And even though COVID has delayed the opening of their new permanent home, it promises to be even better and I absolutely cannot wait. In the meantime, they're offering free delivery for the Edmonton area as well as shipping across Canada, and you can browse their website for books and other merchandise. Now we can get into talking about the books, but actually first we need to talk about their iconic bookmarks, which are very much a part of the whole kind of store concept design and was the inspiration for this nail moment. I also picked up some of their literary postcards, which feature portraits of local authors done by local artists. The first two I have here are of Billy Ray Belcourt as well as Larissa Lai, which are both done by Lauren Crazy Ball. Then there's Vivek Shreya, done by Michelle Campos Castillo, and Joshua Whitehead by Heather Buchanan. And if you're looking for inspiration or ideas, here are some of the books that I got, which you'll definitely be hearing more about in an upcoming wrap up. The first book that I got was by Billy Ray Belcourt. NDN Coping Mechanisms, uh, which I got at the book launch that was hosted by Glass Bookshop. Then we have Bedain by Caitlin Purcell, who's another local Indigenous author, and The Blue Clerk by Dion Brand, who's just, I mean, you know, perfection. I also got Death Threat by Vivek Shreya and Nestle, and then I also got her newest release, The Subtweet, which Glass Bookshop hosted a little virtual launch for, and then Shut Up You're Pretty by Tea Mutanji, which was published through Vivek's imprint. I also picked up The Place of Scraps by Jordan Abel, who I actually first heard about because he was the moderator at Billy Ray's book launch. And we all know how I feel about Amy McKay, so obviously I picked up her newest book, Daughter of Family G. Another Glass Bookshop fave I got was The Crying Book by Heather Crystal, and I also got Hood Feminism by Miki Kendall because Jason actually sent it to me for my birthday, which like literally how dare you. The next category of books are books that I didn't actually buy at Glass Bookshop but were also gifted to me from Jason over the years. They're some of his favorites and they are available at the store, so I'm considering them to be part of the Glass Bookshop cinematic universe, you know what I'm saying? So we have Autobiography of Red uh, by Ann Carson and you apparently can't be gay and not like this book, so there's that, as well as A Chorus of Mushrooms by Hiromi Goto, which is one of the most brilliant books ever, as well as Memory Serves by Lee Maracle. I also have a very extensive wish list, and some of those books include The Response of Weeds, A Misplacement of Black Poetry on the Prairies by Bertrand Bickersteth, Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde, I Hope We Choose Love by Kai Ching Tom, The Melting Queen by Bruce Cinnamon, Disappearing Moon Cafe by Sky Lee, Disintegrate Dissociate by Ariel Twist, and then on my pre-order list, I obviously have A History of My Brief Body by Billy Ray Belcourt, which is coming out in August, as well as the 10th anniversary edition of God Loves Hair by Vivek Shreya, which is coming out in September. And if you're outside of Canada or are unable to support Glass Bookshop, I encourage you to support your local bookstore as many are offering similar services. And you can always follow Glass Bookshop on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Glass Bookshop and their website, which is glassbookshop.com. And all of those will be linked below. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to let me know about your favorite bookstore.
See you soon. Bye.